now a crematory controversy that's heating up. A month ago, Seven Investigates shed light on a plan to expand the number of crematories in Miami-Dade County. A proposal met with resistance by some residents. The idea was shelved for a bit, but today the proposal was back before the commission and it passed. The night team's Karen Hensel has the update. From a community sign stating say no to neighborhood crematories to an online petition, residents living close to the Bernardo Garcia Funeral Home in Southwest Dade made clear their opposition to the facility's plan to add an on-site human crematory. We were really blindsided by it because uh, we found out, I found out about it on social media. That was Susie Kolb in a Seven Investigate story that aired last month. But Tuesday, she did not get to voice her displeasure in front of the county commission before a final vote that would allow the funeral home to move forward. It happened way too quickly, yes. Yeah, the whole thing was completely rushed uh, from beginning to end. For us, it's our lives, it's our health that's being affected. What's the number on that? So it would be 722. Okay, there you go. The ordinance changes zoning laws to let more funeral homes in unincorporated parts of the county operate their own on-site crematories. They must undergo yearly inspections and be no closer than 250 feet from homes. But some families told us that's not far enough. 250 feet is nothing. There'll be burning a human body and you'll be sitting here. It's bad. A study published in 2018 found corpse cremation generates numerous harmful air pollutants. In 2020, seven news cameras captured black smoke rising from three South Florida crematories, including thick plumes billowing from the stack of a funeral home in Little Havana. That's very thick. We haven't seen it that badly. This is the first for us. But in an interview, the Bernardo Garcia funeral director said the newest crematory systems automatically detect and correct any issues with visible smoke. With that technology, what that allows is it takes away the user error. You sound pretty confident that, you know, if you were to get the crematorium and get the, the new and upgraded, something like that is not going to happen here. I don't see that something like that is going to happen. Commissioner Raquel Regalado told us in October she was shelving the ordinance. You know, um, I'm actually going to put a pin in it where we're going to defer it. We've listened to the neighbors. The neighbors don't want this. You know, they're very adamant uh, about not wanting this. Commissioner McGee, move the item, Mr. Chairman. So what happened? Another commissioner, Keone McGee, brought the item back to life. And without any discussion Tuesday, it passed 7 to 2. Commissioner Regalado. No. Notably, one of the two no votes was Commissioner Regalado, the former sponsor of the legislation. We asked Commissioner McGee's office for comment on why he brought the ordinance back and are still waiting on a response. At the news desk, Karen Hensel, 7 News 19.